Yo, what's up guys? It's Renegade here. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to take you in and show you how to get permanent quick revive. Easiest way to do this is to sign in and then sign in as a guest on another controller. That way you don't have to have one of your buddies do this because it involves going down a lot. So we'll start the matchup on transit with split screen, custom game. You can do this on original or easy difficulty, doesn't matter. I just started it to show you to get this started. What you want to do when you get in here is you want to just get enough points to open up that front door. Don't worry about building the turbine or any of that. You just want to get outside by the bus. Alright, here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over here and kill this zombie. Kill this zombie, and I'll have people. enough to open this door. I'll take my guy out, grab my other controller, and I'll take him out. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw him right on the edge of this lava. Just close enough for him to get hurt, close enough for me to revive him. And what this is going to allow me to do is take my other player over here. Can you, swing by quick revive? And you want to keep one zombie left, just so you don't have to worry about going down yourself you just want to come over here revive him he'll come up and he'll go back down when he goes back down you just want to sit here and revive him over and over it takes about 17 times 17 18 times and you'll see a little green light pop up above your head Leave this guy over here a little ways. Make sure he's the last one. Just want to run back over here and just like I said, keep reviving him. It might take a while. It might seem like a pain in the butt, but it's really worth it. And signed in as a guest like this, it won't count as any against your rank or anything like that. So that's why I do it this way, rather than sign into another account or have one of your friends do this for you. So it's just easier to come in by yourself on a custom match. Just do it just like this. It really comes in handy if you're playing with um, randoms, you know, in a, on any match, really. See right now I have eight revives, so about eight more, nine more. So see now we're at 11. It takes, like I said, it takes a little while, but it's well worth having. Now with this permanent quick revive, once you get it, it does only last for so many revives. I'm not sure the exact number, if anyone knows, feel free to leave it in the comment below. But I know that there is a number of revives that you can perform before it goes back to normal. And if you have this uh, permanent quick revive and you buy quick revive, 
it makes it like an ultra quick revive. It's even faster than what it, you'll see here in a second. See that little green light? Now I'll have it. Now when he goes down this time, you'll notice a different color revive bar. What that's going to do is just see how faster it is? It's just so much faster. It allows you to you know, make easy work of things when someone goes down. See? Alright, so that's your basic tutorial. Quickest way that I found to get a permanent quick revive. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Renegade, and I'm out.